Hi, and welcome back to Oncology for Med Students, a series of videos aimed at helping medical students and anyone else who's interested get to grips with concepts in oncology. Here's the second video on benign and malignant neoplasms. So last time we learned that neoplasms, or new growths, also known as tumours, can be benign or malignant. Cancer is another word for malignant neoplasms. But what exactly makes a neoplasm malignant, or in other words, cancerous? What I want to cover in this lesson is four key areas in which benign and malignant neoplasms, or tumours, differ. These are 1. Differentiation 2. Rate of growth, three, local invasion, and four, metastasis. As we'll find out, the top two are general rules for which there are some exceptions. However, the bottom two are the real key differences between what really define whether a tumour is malignant or benign. So what I'm going to do is build two tumours side by side, one benign and one malignant, in order to show you clearly how they differ in the four areas I just mentioned. So the first one is differentiation. Differentiation is a word used to describe when a cell turns from one type into another. Usually this occurs during development as cells become more and more specialised. For example, this cell here becomes a highly specialised cell in the nervous system called a neuron. In benign neoplasms, cells remain well differentiated. The cells look like the tissue it came from, and they maintain their specialisation. In malignant neoplasms, however, cells are often not well differentiated or specialised, and they don't look much like the tissue they came from. In practice, malignant tumours can range from well differentiated to poorly differentiated, in general, the more poorly differentiated a tumour is, the more aggressive it is. A complete lack of differentiation in cells is known as anaplasia, which means to form backward. Next is rate of growth. In general, the rate of growth is related to the degree of differentiation. Well differentiated benign tumours tend to grow more slowly. Less well differentiated malignant tumours tend to be fast growing. But growth is a complicated issue and there are exceptions. Some benign tumours grow quickly, while some malignant tumours grow slowly. But in general, these rules hold true. Next are the issues that really do separate benign and malignant tumours. The first being local invasion. Benign tumours do not invade the tissues surrounding them. They often have a fibrous capsule that keeps the tumour as a single, clearly defined mass. This also makes them easy to remove, if that's necessary, and they don't grow back when they're removed. Malignant tumours, on the other hand, do invade the tissues around them. The invasion and destruction of surrounding tissues means it's difficult to work out where the edges are and cut them out. And they can grow back if they aren't completely removed. So finally, 
metastasis. Metastasis means spread. This is said to occur when new tumours appear in other parts of the body that are separate from the original or primary tumour. Spread occurs via the bloodstream, the lymphatic system or body cavities. And this is the other main difference between benign and malignant tumours. It also is one of the biggest challenges in terms of treatment. In most cancers, it's difficult or impossible to cure the disease once it's spread. So in summary, this is very simplified, but the general principles are important to remember. Benign tumours tend to be well differentiated, looking like the tissue they came from, tend to grow more slowly than malignant neoplasms. But by definition, benign tumours do not invade the surrounding tissue and they do not metastasize. Malignant neoplasms, on the other hand, tend to be poorly differentiated, fast growing, they invade the surrounding tissue, and they have the potential to metastasize. Now, most of our focus from here on will be on malignant neoplasms. But before I finish, it's important to make the point that benign tumors are not always harmless. Although they're not invading local tissues or metastasizing, they sometimes can cause problems. And here are a few examples. First is an adenoma. An adenoma is a form of benign tumor of glandular tissue, and these can release hormones. In the picture, you can see an MRI scan showing an adenoma of the pituitary gland. These kind of tumours can release a number of hormones that cause different diseases. Some you might have heard of, including acromegaly and Cushing's syndrome. Another example is a polyp. Polyps are technically benign tumours, but they can also be precursors to malignant tumours. When cells within these tumours mutate, they can sometimes gain properties which then make them malignant. Finally, any tumour inside the brain can't truly be considered benign. This is because the skull is a fixed volume and anything that grows inside of it creates more pressure. So tumours, benign or malignant, will cause an increase in pressure as they grow and cause all sorts of problems, compressing parts of the brain and stopping them from working. Okay, so thanks for listening. If you found this video useful, please hit the subscribe button and check out the other videos on the channel. Thank you.